Welcome back to the Energy Academy. Here, we'll introduce some of the different types of market participants in ARCOT to get an idea of how they interact with one another. ERCOT oversees the flow of electricity within its boundaries. It also operates various markets through which power is bought and sold. And it also oversees the planning and operations of transmission infrastructure, the wires and towers that carry power from one location to another. But these are actually owned and operated by transmission service providers, or TSPs. TSPs provide the link between generators on one side, which are owned by resource entities, or REs, and on the other side, the distribution network and eventually consumers. Resource entities can own either generation resources, which generate power, or load resources, which import power. In order for resources to buy and sell electricity in ERCOT's markets, they must be represented by Qualified Scheduling Entities, or QSEs. QSEs are the middlemen between resource entities and ERCOT. They submit bids and offers on behalf of resources, they inform ERCOT of a resource's operations, and they financially settle with both ERCOT and the resource entity for any power bought or sold. So, we know roughly how electricity makes its way to consumers in ERCOT, but who do consumers actually pay for that electricity? Consumers of power, like homes and businesses, are supplied by organizations known as load-serving entities, or LSEs. In many parts of the state, consumers have a competitive choice of their electricity provider. But in some parts of the state, there is no competitive retail market, and consumers are served by a specific type of LSE called a non-opt-in entity. All LSEs purchase power, either from QSEs on ERCOT's day-ahead and real-time wholesale markets, or via longer-term bilateral contracts with specific resource entities. And homes and businesses then pay LSEs for the electricity that they consume. In ERCOT, the majority of power is initially contracted through those long-term agreements. So, how do they work? We'll dive into that in the next episode. I'll see you there.